Hi, welcome to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, there are a lot of uh, use of a uh, function prototype, function definitions, and so on. So what you see right now is just my headings and so on. So as you can see, I have an option here asking the user to select the menu. So if I enter let's say letter M there I'm prompt to enter or to select whatever I intend to do so let's say I say if I select D I've been asked to enter the timetable number I would like to see and supposing I say I would like to see 12 times table so that's my 12 times table up to even up to 15 okay so that's the 12 times multiplication timetable and here if I say I would like to continue just enter letter Y for yes and that's what you get the menu returns okay this time around I would like to carry out my calculation so let's press letter C which you guys can see right here can you see that letter C press enter and I've been given another menu asking me what kind of uh, arithmetic function would I like to perform so it's either addition subtraction division multiplication or modulus so let's say i intend or i would like to perform division all i need to do is to press letter letter three or number three press enter uh, enter your very first number let's say i have a 90 there and the second number to be deducted from 90 let's say that's uh, maybe or to be divided let's say that's uh, 5 and there you get the answer a thing the next question is would you like to continue so I can always select yes again or select letter N okay, I'm selecting letter N so that you guys can see the codes and I do I would like to carry out some modification so let me press N all right that's it guys so let me go back to the code view that's the code right there in the first place the code is sort of like uh, the background is black I'm gonna just change that to I prefer white really so let me say system change the color color there is white black that's the color sorted and right here I like this my heading to sort of like get in the middle sort of and all of these options so get those options there those are my options I have three here and I have four here that's fine so those are my options I want my options centered good so let me give this program a, a, a run again well before I do that let me just show you guys the code right here I've included the input and output ring and here I've called the I've used the standard uh, namespace I have my main function here my multiplication function there calculation function and let me just go down here that's the variable for my result scroll down so that you guys see the codes you see that it's well commented I've spent a lot of time on this so let's move it down a little bit more 
guess you can all see that. Okay. If you have any need for this code, I will actually put this code in my share drive. I can always forward it to you guys. And right here, I've used the if statement to select either uppercase M or lowercase letter M. And the same thing, I've repeated the same thing right here. So you guys see that. I'm just sort of like going to scroll right down. That is it right there. And here you have my other menu. Okay. Let's move down more. Some more. It's a long code. So it's sort of like it will take some time for me to type it all out individually why this tutorial is in progress that's why I'm actually doing it this way so that's the code guys if you have any need for it just uh, send me an email it's a very nice tutorial and I'll forward it to you you will, you will definitely like it And again, you can always modify it for your own project and do what you like with it. Okay, that's it. I'm almost there now. So you can see my function defined there and the local variables as well. That's my yes, and now they are function declared for the vision and local variables declared as well. For multiplication, the function is declared. All of these functions I call depending on individual selection. So that's a long code. I guess you guys will enjoy it. So that's the end of this tutorial. So what I'll do now again is just to run the program because I've carried out some changes up here. So let's run the program, compile and run. Yeah, that's the new interface there look at that it's now white select an option so the one I'm selecting let's just select calculation and that's the calculation asking me to select either addition subtraction or division let's just decide to select modulus that's five enter the first number and enter the second number into five and that's two modulus is actually remainder okay would I like to continue press yes and back to the main menu so what do I want to do multiplication time to okay would I like to display? Okay, let me display all of the table again. Press letter D. Now what timetable would I like to see? It's a six times table. And that's your six timetable right there. I hope you all enjoy this uh, brief tutorial. So I'm just going to call it a day. So you all have a nice day now, guys.